Hype thrusters to maximum overhype. Ladies and gentlemen, we have blue fire. I, I, Lunastra, Lunastra's the one doing it. It's finally happening. We knew we were going to get Lunastra and presumably a Roshi Kirin later down the line, but for now, Lunastra is here, and she, the Empress of Flame, looks incredible. Able to do not a turf war, but a combo dance of death with Teostra, a double nova that quite literally superheats the area, melting your health. Oh, it is beautiful. She also leaves blue fire napalm patch around the area permanently burning as they seek to turn you to cinder. Kind of like my liquid basil idea, actually, so, you know, just saying. But no, it looks absolutely fantastic. They have really given her a distinction that she never really had from before, because she was kind of just, hey, it's Blue Teostra. But now she has this real elegance and beauty about her. These blue fire attacks look magnificent. She still definitely has Teostra revives some similar attacks, but she seems to have her own little heartbeat, her own tempo, and oh my word, I am excited as well as fashionably late on this update. Ha <laughs> ha! Lunastra armor is essentially Teostra armor, but blue, so there we go. We'll go over what it actually has going for it in a moment, but oh, she is just elegance personified. Essentially a double supernova where she pours out her napalmy blue fire all around her in streaks and waves on the ground, exploding initially and then igniting and exploding in cacophony once more. It seems absolutely just magnificent. Oh. Oh, I am excited to uh, bring you some further deets on this and pro and noob. It comes out essentially today slash tomorrow, so yeah, not a lot of waiting need doing. We're also getting a new mantle, which can be described as... Essentially the Ultra Instinct Mantle. It automatically dodges attacks, and given that Lunastra Gear reduces mental cooldowns, yeah, there is some potential for some evasive fun going on here. Nagakuga would be proud. The armor then visually is quite the treat, but stat-wise... Oh, it's veritably yummy. We get a two set of stamina up, we get a four set of uh, mind's eye, so you know bouncing, which is perhaps another nice way to get this because her set is all about that sweet, sweet customization. Oh, it's tasty. The skills that it comes with, at least on the alpha, wide range 4, health boost 3, blast 3, tool specialist 3, so lowering those mantles, peak performance 2 and evade distance 2, and there are 3 slots and level 1 slots on the pieces that just... Oh god, imagine the beta. My word, there's gonna be more slots in this thing than a casino. I am looking forward to giving it a spin. Lunastral weapons then are... Also, a beast of their own. She has one new weapon for each type. They're not unique models, which is kinda sad, though her armor itself does look quite pretty. I mean, it's obviously just the variation on Teostra, but I do quite like it. But the weapons themselves, you can have one version for each, and they look pretty good. You got white sharpness, you got good affinity, the raw seems decent, slottage good, but the real catch is there are variations. There is Lunastra with Nergigante variation, and there is Lunastra with Xenojiva variation to give you three weapon options. Each one accentuates different things. Nergigante gives you higher raw, for example. But the real catch is the Nergigante one comes with super recovery, i.e. Nergi's hit monster get health, which essentially acts as a healing option without an augment. So this is potentially meta-defining for a lot of these weapons, for a lot of weapon types. So, yeah, my anticipation is maximum. Oh, and we are getting a brand new level of tempered. We're going to go beyond to... Uh, Arch Tempered Monsters. For a limited time event like Tempered Devil Joe over the next coming month, we are getting Arch Tempered Valhazark. So, I mean, whatever, you know, Valhazark is, is real easy anyway. Shh. And Arch Tempered Kirin. Oh my god. 
And the thing is, these are essentially tempered, tempered monsters. That's the best way to think about them. Ridiculously powerful, fast, aggressive, and altogether a true endgame of endgame challenge. For those of you that are like, Psh, everything's just so easy. I can only imagine how brutal these guys are. I mean, specifically, sorry Val, but like, specifically, arch-tempered Kirin. And they come with gamma armor sets. A beautiful metallic sheen to them. Unique, looks like the original monster armor but it's got that extra mmm to it, so that's going to be incredibly exciting to see how those end up playing out. And the thing is though, Arch-Tempered Kirin? Did we need a harder than Tempered Kirin Kirin? What does he do? One shot your fucking family tree! In fact, no, I actually do have some exclusive footage of Arch-Tempered Kirin's lightning bolt. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be... It's gonna be a right little, uh, little bundle of joy, isn't it? You can now get tempered investigations from breaking parts, which is about damn time. You can change your armor pigment at various item boxes. There's lots of little quality of lives being added to the game as well with the update like we get. So that's all gorgeous. But yeah, I, I am sorry. I'm, I'm fucking late on, late on this, so... Uh, let me know what you think, guys. I'm super happy. I am so ready for something new and challenging in the game, and you can be sure I'll be covering it as much as I dearly can. Like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe for more. My name has been Josh. Pretend you heard it here first, and I'll see you very soon. A good boy. <laughs> Rage gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo. But I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kind of relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song. And don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit. <laughs>